Okay, this is Alan. I'm back again here. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take this piece right here and I am going to go ahead and thin it on down and finish it into a finished dart point, which is a dart point is a kind of uh, larger style size of projectile point that was made for use with the atlatl. So they were made, they were socketed into a four shaft and then uh, they were shot with an atlatl. So what I want to do is I want to go through this piece right here right now and show you how to thin it and what I would do to thin it the rest of the way down. So what I'm going to start doing right now is taking my different tools and this is a little sandstone hammer stone that I gathered out of the Santa Cruz and I've been using for a long time. You can see the weathered facets on it and I'm going to use this to strike these flakes with. I like to rest my biface on my leg and strike it while th my right arm is moving and I'm hitting it with an arcing downward motion and I'm striking it on an edge. So I'm going to come into here, boom, I hit right there and I hit a nice short little flake. When I struck I went very straight down to the edge so my flake didn't travel very far because it's a mass of rock right out in here that I want to get rid of, but I don't want a flake to go out in here and hinge. This flake started to hinge right here just a little bit. So I, if I hit more into the rock, the flake's gonna travel further across and hinge and do bad things. So these gotta be very straight up and down flakes. So now after that flake, I'll grind it, get rid of those little lips, the little overhangs, and then we come down and hit it right in here. Boom. That flake, that flake went in and it, it like a little step fracture right there uh, because it encountered this, this dove into this massive rock right there. But that's minor, that'll be easy to fix. So I'm gonna take just a couple more little ones here. Just bing, 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 right off this edge. I like to talk in sound effects sometimes. So I just sort of bevel in that edge. I'll grind it. And now I'm gonna come down to right here and I'm gonna hit a flake this way one, two, I'm straight up and down, little beveling flakes. What I'm doing is, with these little flakes, I am moving this margin, this edge that runs all the way around the rock. When I want to thin it, when I want to knock a flake out across it, I need to have this margin in that massive rock that I want to thin. But I struck these flakes right here to change the angle so that I could hit it right here and knock a flake that'll follow this ridge right down through there. So I'll come back, give it a good grind, rest it on my leg again, and then come in and do the same thing. Boom. So that little flake went right out to there, about halfway across. So I'm just taking advantage of this nice natural platform here where I can, and I'm working. A good strategy is when you're working, a, when you're making a biface is to work from the ends to the middle, and only take flakes from the ends and, and continue to keep the mass of rock kind of in the middle and so you always have it released at least on one side so when you hit a flake it's not you don't want to go and hit a flake out of the middle of it and make it thinner in the middle because then your whole piece is, is going to break it's called in shock it gets, the energy's bouncing around in it and it'll break so I'm going to come over here off this edge and hit a flake down right here another one right here Two or three flakes. They didn't go very far. I was hitting straight up and down, so my flakes go very, not very far. But it moved this margin now, so I got a good angle right here to come in and hit a flake this way out into here. And I might switch over and use a different tool to do this one. I might switch over to my elk antler billet. And I use it the same way as a hammerstone. I'm going to hit right here. Boom. So I struck that flake, it traveled out across. It went a little over halfway, pretty good. And a nice little flake. Now I gotta get rid of this edge and turn it into a more of a sharper serrated edge. Grind it, I'll come into here and hit right here. Turn it over, do the same thing. Very straight up and down. That one hinged on me just a little bit. I kind of missed. I 
kind of got a little bit of a hinge there. And I'll turn it over. One there, and then right here. Now that edge is pretty well straightened up. I kind of had some little bit of uh, hinges and stuff in here, so I've kind of got a mound of rock there. So I'm going to need to come from this edge over there to get that. But now I can start thinking about hitting some flakes out across this flat face here too. So I need to move my edge over just a little bit from the edge. So I just took a series of little flakes, dingy dingy ding, all the way down that edge. Now I'll grind it. And now I'll switch to my billet. I'm just going to come down here. Boom. So that one traveled to right there. Boom. So that flake went over halfway across. Boom. Good. There. And just keep hitting them back and forth. Setting up my platforms. So this is called percussion flaking that I'm doing using a little hammer stone as my percussion tool or the deer antler billet. Base, it's the base end of the antler where it would have stuck at the head of the animal. Nice flake there, traveled out across from a little basal edge there. Give that a good grind. That's a really good platform right there. I'm going to strike right there and drive a flake out across it. Boom. Perfect. It's completely predictable. Beveling the edge. Just moving the flakes over just a little bit. Moving that edge over. Platform a little bit. Maybe hit one right here. Another one right here. So come back. So now I'm going to strike right here and take a big flake right out through here. That was bad. So I went in and I didn't hit it right. And I hinged it right there. So now I got to come back from this side to clean that off of there. That was sort of not great. Seems like I got to do that all the time. See that one? Because of that one, that one went in and hinged right there as well. So, some stuff to fix up here in a little bit. Double this. I'm going to go down here tip end and hit one. I might switch to a slightly smaller billet now. This is a mule deer antler billet. Hit it right here. Boom. Let's come down here. There. There. Into here. Short little ones. These flakes don't need to go very far. I'm trying to set up a good platform for strike and flake across to here to clean that little mess up that I made. My platform is a little too strong. So we don't want it to be too strong. What what's that mean? How do you tell that? It's experience. It's like looking at it and going, yeah, that's not gonna work. So that flake went across and it pretty much cleaned up a lot of my mess there. I'm going the other way for this one right here. Little bevel flakes. Beveling that edge over. I need one more right here. Okay, now I'm going to take one from here. So I work 
I work from the ends, from the distal end and the proximal end, I work towards the middle. <laughs>